Food is more global than ever before. Reduced trade barriers, advances in production, logistics, and a rising demand for food have powered trade and global supply chains. These processes have unlocked millions of jobs, supporting social and economic development around the world. As food crosses countries and oceans, there can be harmful impacts along the way that can take place from farm to fork. Let's turn to Louisa and Dan. Louisa owns a major food store, importing fresh and processed products from suppliers all over the world, who rely on farmers in producing countries like Dan. Louisa is paying a fair price to her suppliers and is under the impression that the producers are treated fairly. But this is not the case. The truth is, Dan is not given an equal chance to succeed. His neighbour sells tomatoes to the same trader, but has joined other producers in bribing local officials to expand their farms to conservation land and to use pesticides excessively to boost their yield. Dan is producing less and making less, but knows that his farming practices aren't contributing to deforestation or biodiversity loss. There are other problems in Dan's community. In the tomato canning factory, women are being paid much less than the men, and they're working in unsafe conditions. But the country's labour laws are weak, and they fear losing their jobs if they complain. Other communities face other problems. Just across the border, crops in high demand are taking over land once reserved for local staples, affecting food security. Attending a talk by an NGO, Louisa is shocked to discover that her business could be contributing to harmful impacts through her own supply chain. Louisa learns that the OECD FAO guidance for responsible agricultural supply chains can help businesses introduce risk-based due diligence to identify, mitigate and prevent social and environmental impacts in their supply chains. The OECD FAO guidance provides a five-step framework for risk-based due diligence, helping companies understand where risks can occur in business operations and how that can impact on development. Following these steps, Louisa implements a due diligence framework and new company policies to help her business operate more responsibly. She's developing a code of conduct for her suppliers and knows which questions to ask to ensure they're doing their part to address risks to people and the planet. She is also engaging with stakeholders, including NGOs, worker and employer organizations, and many others. Dan also starts seeing changes in his community. The trader that Dan sells to has introduced site visits to assess producers' farming practices, addressing issues such as overcropping and social protection for seasonal workers. A local NGO is also promoting awareness around environmental issues, and there's even an anonymous hotline to report harmful practices. Women at the factory say working conditions have improved. As for Louisa, business has never been better. Ever since her suppliers began to consider risks more carefully, there have been fewer development impacts. She also sees greater confidence among her investors, increased customer loyalty, and better understands how her business can help achieve the sustainable development goals. Responsible business conduct in agriculture can help build a better life for everyone, bringing more responsibly sourced food to all our tables. Learn more.